Hi everyone, this is Molly and welcome to another teaching video where I'm going to talk about the rising sign of Virgo. And if that is your rising sign, I want to give you some more insights into how you come across to other people. So your rising sign is right here. It is uh, the Virgo glyph is an M with that little third cross, it's like a lady crossing her leg, which is a good archetype of the energy of a Virgo rising. Your rising sign is the front door to your chart, to your whole natal energy. So it gives the first impression to others. It's how they first perceive you and the characteristics that they pick up on you before they truly know you, which represents more of your chart and getting to know all of you here. So the Virgo rising sign is someone who can be very particular with details, well-groomed, who is aware of their body. Uh, the ascendant is also the ruler of the first house, which is the physical body. So this is someone who could be very interested in athletics and taking care of themselves, yoga, uh, nutrition. Uh, also someone who comes across as being healthy and conscious of their daily lifestyle. Uh, Virgo is okay with saying no um, to choices, to decisions, and being very discerning. So you could come across as someone who takes time to think about things, who says no because you know it's not right for you, who is aware of the consequences of their choices, and who wants to maintain responsibility over themselves in a, in a very daily manner. There's, there's that sense of you are responsible and you're aware of what you need to do to take care of yourself and your body. Uh, the Virgo energy uh, comes across as a healer as holistic, as a nurse, as an athlete, as a doctor, as someone who is about improving oneself but also wants to improve the world or improve others. So there's a sense of duty and service with the Virgo rising. Uh, you could come across through your daily service. However you help others is how people first identify you. The Virgo rising um, is concerned with details and particulars, so again, it can be very aware of their body, of grooming, of beauty practices, of eyebrows and uh, hair color, and the particulars of how one looks and how one comes across. There's a responsibility with one's appearance. So for Virgo rising, there are actually two planets uh, that are related to Virgo. Now the traditional planet related to Virgo is Mercury, but the newer planet that's associated with Virgo is Chiron, which right here looks like the key. Chiron is associated with healing, and Mercury is associated with uh, the mind and thoughts and the purpose of thoughts and how we use our daily habits to improve the world, what we do on a daily basis to take care of oneself. Virgo is the energy of self-care, so both of these planets actually fit with the energy of Virgo, and I personally think that they both influence Virgo energies, although some astrologers will argue one or the other. Uh, you'd want to look at both these energies in your chart. Chiron, wherever Chiron is placed, reveals how you are healing your self identity and how you're p potentially healing something in the body. And then Virgo, excuse me, Mercury is the energy of how you think and communicate and what you say with objectivity and whether words can be healing and kind or perhaps be harmful, judgmental. Uh, Virgo energy can be critical. It's a perfectionist and you can come across in that way. Uh, it is a, a librarian, if you will, and there's order and things to take care of and prioritize and make sure all the details are covered. So if you have Virgo rising, I hope this gave you a good understanding of your first impression to other people before they get to know you, as well as the key planets in your natal chart to be aware of, because wherever these planets are is how they will also influence the energy of your ascendant. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be back here soon with another teaching video.